Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the creative team with Stamping Jill, and I am so excited about the project I have to share with you today. I wanted to create a cute little gift idea, but I wanted to challenge myself and do it using only one piece of designer series paper. It was amazing. I chose the Tropical Oasis Designer Series Paper Pack because I am in love with this paper. Um, so all of our DSP with Stampin' Up! is double-sided. So you have this really, really great pattern on one side, and then you have more of a solid pattern on the other side. So when you're using both sides in a project, it makes it great because they coordinate beautifully together. So I had a hard time choosing the designer series paper that I wanted to make this project out of because in this pack, there are so many beautiful pieces. The flowers and the tropical colors are just gorgeous. So you really could make this project using any of these designer series papers from this pack. Let me first show you the project so you get an idea and then I'll walk you through how to make it yourself. So we have this little box that I made with a little belly band that says, hello, pretty general and easy to give. Slide that off and it opens up. And you have a little box here with four note cards and envelopes. I thought they turned out so cute. Our little note cards are, the size of the card is five by three and a half. So they're just the right size to put your little greeting in or give as a gift. Anybody could use them. And then you always have to decorate your little envelopes too. So that's what fits in our little card box. All of these cards and the box and the belly band only take one piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper. I'm so excited to show you this. The stamp set that I've used on these cards and with the box is called Timeless Tropical. It has great sayings in it. The sentiments are awesome. And that's why I wanted to use it for this project. They're nicely sized. They're not too big and not too small. And so it makes it fit great on that little note card sized. So let me show you how I did this. I had to choose another piece of designer series paper from that set to show you. It's just beautiful. On this side, you've got that bright splash of color. And on this side, you've got the more solid old olive looking color. This is how you cut your designer series paper in order to get all of these pieces that you need. It's a little crazy looking from the template, but I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how you can do this so you don't waste your paper. But these are the measurements that you'll need for all of the cards and the box and the belly band that we're making today. Let me first start with the box. This is what we're gonna do with our seven and an eighth inch piece by 12 inch piece of designer series paper that we're gonna cut off first. This looks a little crazy. We'll post a still picture of this on our blog so that you can have it for you when you recreate this project. But I'm gonna walk you through step by step and show you how to do it. First, we'll take our paper. The first piece I'm gonna cut is a seven and an eighth inch piece by 12 inch piece. I'm gonna set this aside. This is what we're gonna use for our cards in just a minute. I'm gonna take this piece that we're gonna use for our box and I'm gonna score it. On our stamping trimmer, we have a cutting blade and a scoring blade. Something that's so great about our scoring blade is it's a little wheel, so it doesn't break through your designer series paper even if you push hard, which I tend to push a little bit harder on these heavy pattern papers because it's easier to see. So with your seven and an eighth inch side pointing up in your trimmer, you're going to score this side at a half inch and then scooch it over and score it at one inch. You're gonna flip your paper over and on the other side, score it again at a half inch and then at one inch. Okay, see that? Now I'm gonna turn it to the 12 inch side. I'm gonna score it first at three and a half inches and then at four inches seven and three quarter inches and eight and a quarter inches. So if you can see that on the video, you're gonna have something that looks like this. Three and a half, four, seven and three quarters and eight and a quarter. 
Okay. You want to figure out which side is your three and a half inch side because that's going to be the bottom of your box. I think it, oops, I think it's this side. Yeah, three and a half right there. So I want to make sure that that's the right side that I've got here. Fold on my score lines. It's really great to use a bone folder for this because it folds it nice and tight. It's going to give you a really crisp box. Fold on your score lines. This is going to be the bottom of our box. And this is the flap that's going to go over. But we have to get rid of some of the sides here. I want to cut off. And I'm going to use my trimmer because I like to have really straight lines. But if you're nervous, you can always use your scissors for this part. I'm just going to cut up to that top score line on both sides at one inch. I'm going to cut along that score line to get rid of those extra flaps that I don't need. There we go. And then I'm going to trim that little piece off with some scissors. Just like that. And I don't need these pieces. So here's where we're at. These are the parts you cut off. That's what I've just done. This is the part we're going to have. We also need to punch this with a two inch circle punch. I'm going to fold my score lines here really well for my one inch and my half inch. So I get a nice tight box. And then I'm going to bring in my two inch circle punch about right in the middle and I'm going to punch it halfway in. So this is how our box is going to look when it's totally assembled. Just like that. That's where the note cards are going to sit and that flap's going to come down over. Super cute. Now I like to use tear and tape because I feel like it keeps my boxes together really, really well. So let's see how nice it will be to me today. You place the tear and tape right on top and then you pull off your little piece there and then do it on this other side and pull off that piece. And then I'm going to take my box, I'm going to put it right on there and right on there. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to just push it down nice and tight on the inside, just like that. Okay, so then you've got your box here, your little designer series paper box. Super cute. And you can just set that aside while you work on your cards. So now we've got this portion of our DSP to cut out. We have this little piece that fits right here. And we're going to follow these cuts. I'm going to walk you through it because you have to do it in a certain order in order to get all of the cuts that you're looking for. So first we're going to start by cutting our belly band that's going to go around our box. It needs to be one inch by 12 inches. So we're going to cut a little one inch piece off and we're going to set that aside because we're going to work on that in just a minute. The next cut you're going to make is that you're going to make this piece straight to three and a half. So you need to cut this piece right to three and a half because we made our box a little seven and an eighth inch. You have this little piece that you could keep. You could choose to put it on your envelopes or you could use it in another way. I didn't choose to use it, so I'm going to set that one aside. The next cut I'm going to make is a two inch cut. So this will be two by three and a half. I'm going to set that one here. And then I'm going to do a three inch piece. This will be three by three and a half. So it's going to look, one of the cards is going to look just like that. Then I'm going to turn my piece and I'm going to make it one inch, a one inch cut. This is going to be one by seven and I want to cut it in half at three and a half. So it's going to be one inch by three and a half inches. And I'm going to use those two pieces on one of my cards. Next, I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut it to five inches. I'm going to save this piece because I'm going to use this piece 
on my box as the embellishment. Then I have this piece less, left and I'm going to take it and cut it to one and three quarters by three quarter inches. Sorry, I'm going to cut it to three quarter inches by five and one and three quarter inches by five. And those are my other two pieces I'm going to use on my card. So we've got these cuts here and we have all of our pieces right here. Okay, so now through the magic of television, I'm going to show you these cards that I've made using these little pieces. I'm going to start with our first cut. This cut was a three and a half by two inch and three inch cut. And so you've got the two pieces. This is just the back side of the designer series paper. Super cute. And the saying, I love this one, rest and relax. You deserve it. Super cute. The next cut that I made was this one. It was a one by seven inch piece that I cut to one by three and a half. And I love this one tip with this stamp. If you choose to use this stamp set, I stamped it first and then put my paper on second. That made it so that I could put the paper just right by the stamp and I didn't have a hard time stamping that little sentiment in the middle. Super cute though. The next cut, this one, just a little three quarter inch piece, three quarter inch by five. And it says, thank you. Just simple and cute. And then this one is that one and three quarter inch piece by five. And it says, may your birthday be memorable. I've only used one stamp pad with all of my project today. This one I chose for this paper was Old Olive. And I think they all look just really cute. It works really well with that paper. And don't forget your envelopes. I put the cute little flower stamp in the bottom hand of my envelopes because it's always more fun to send a card when it's decorated. Those cards are gonna go into our box that I made earlier. You can slide them in just like that. And that tear and tape is going to keep it nice and together. So you've got those just like that. So cute. So now we just need to make our belly band that's going to go around our box along with our little embellishment. This piece that you had left over from your designer series paper, I used that with the little flower. I liked the texture of the designer series paper on that and I thought it was really cute. So I just stamped this little flower from the stamp set on there. And then I stamped a hello on a little scrap piece of white paper because I thought that was really general and cute for any type of gift. So you'll take your belly band and you're going to make it about halfway on your box and then you're going to wrap it around your box, kind of creating a little crease as you go so it has a little bit of memory to the paper. And it's going to meet on the other side just right there in the middle, just like that. And then you're going to take a glue dot and you're going to put it on the bottom piece of that paper and you're going to glue dot the top piece to that. You don't want to tape it to the box because then it won't slide off so that you can open your box and show off your cards. So just a quick little belly band just like that. Then you're going to take your flower that you cut out of that same DSP. Then we're going to take some dimensionals on the back of our little flower and we're going to add that to the belly band. Again, make sure you're not adhering it to your box because it won't slide off. And we're going to cover up the seam that we created with our belly band. And then we have our little hello. Here's a little tip. If you ever put a sentiment over something that's popped up, you don't want to put a dimensional here and a dimensional here because it will make it kind of lopsided. So I like to put, look at where I want to put it. And then on this side, I'm going to put a dimensional because that will make it the same height. And then you can use a little bit of adhesive or a glue dot on that other side because it's going to make it then just sit just right how I want it. And we're going to add that just like that. And then we've got our cute little box. Okay, so let me show you how cute. They look different because they have the different designer series paper, but you could make bunches of these out of one pack of designer series paper. 12 pieces of paper come in our designer series paper packs, and each one of these projects only take one of that. So if you were to purchase Whisper White cards and envelopes, our note cards and envelopes, and you had a stamp pad and a stamp set with some sentiments and some cute, cute DSP, you could replicate this project in no time. If you want to see these templates in still pictures, go back to the blog at stampingjill.com so that you can recreate this project on your own. Don't hoard your designer series paper. You ought to use it. The best way to do is to give it as gifts. I hope you've liked this. If you have any questions, let us know, and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.